Hey guys, this is Medical Man, and today we'll be talking about indirect laryngoscopy. A mirror we use is to look at the larynx. Okay? Because we use a plain mirror, anterior posterior aspect change. But for practical purposes, we'll straight draw. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? So, first of all, we'll draw the mirror. Okay? Fine. Through the midline, an imaginary midline, you will be able to see the epiglottic folds. So these are your epiglottic folds. Fine. There will be a glossoepiglottic or median glossoepiglottic fold in the midline. ठीक है? Posteriorly, you will be able to see from the central aspect. the post cricoid region fine and from there the crico arytenoid joints are formed fine again the post cricoid region and the crico arytenoid joint something like this fine and these projections they are termed as the ari epiglottic folds fine here you have the crico arytenoid joint and this is the post cricoid region fine these are the epiglottic folds and this is the median the median glosso epiglottic fold fine so we have the epiglottis we have the median glosso epiglottic folds you have the ari epiglottic folds right here and you have the cricoarytenoid and the post cricoid region apart from that you will be having the posterior posterior pharyngeal wall view so this area is the posterior pharyngeal wall fine and this portion in between are the two pyriform sinuses these are the pyriform sinuses fine so it is to be noted that the structures within this central area is the larynx and posterior to the post cricoid that is the post cricoid right the two pyriform sinuses one and two and the posterior pharyngeal wall they form the hypopharynx okay in the center we can erase this imaginary line now in the center we will be able to see the vocal folds fine you will also be able to see the vestibular folds or we call them the false vocal cord so these are the false vocal cords and these are the true vocal cords and right here in between is the trachea so this is the diagram for the indirect laryngoscope we'll look at the theory for the larynx in next upcoming videos so do make sure to like and subscribe to medicoma